Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel, Hi I'm a Luva fan and this is the video analysis of episode 1 of a Luva Boss. The happiest starts in a school in the living world where we met a woman whose name is Mrs. Mary Berry that is teaching to some children while singing with them. The naked says that is her husband, whose name is Gerald, Bertie and Mrs. May Barry gets worried and sad because she forgot about that uh, and didn't both him anything. So a little girl suggests uh, to call him to do a happy birthday surprise, but uh, when Mrs. May Barry video calls him, she sees that uh, her husband is having sex with another woman and well she doesn't take it so well. Wait, Mrs. May Barry! Remember what you taught us? Think before you act. Obviously she gets really really mad and her broken drives fast destroying also the enclosure of the school um, to her home surprising her husband and shooting him and uh, his lover. She then understands what she has done and while crying and saying sorry to her students that in the meantime have gotten through traumas in a minute, she tells herself. The shan changes and uh, we see the IMP building where Mrs. Mayberry, now a demon with purple skin and horns, red eyes and white hair, with an outfit that remembers her previous one when she was alive, is talking to Blitz. That, on the other hand, uh, doesn't seem very interesting in her story. I mean, was she hotter? I'm just saying, I had a hard time understanding the unprompted melodrama you just spat at me, tits. Anyway, I don't think you quite understand how we're operating down here. See, we take revenge out on the living, and it sounds like the core cast of your sitcom of a death, frankly, are all probably down here in hell with you. Mrs. Mayberry also says that her husband's lover, whose name is Martha, and that has also a family, survived, and that now she became rich and all the people call her a hero, and she doesn't take it very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> in the meantime, in another room outside Blitz's office, Moxie is trying to shoot with a crossbow a picture with a family on it. He is against the idea to kill an innocent family and that they should be more selective. When Millie says that it is their job to kill people and that if that is what the client wants, they have to kill. Luna, who is holding the photo while laying on the couch, then tries to convince Moxie, saying that he can know if they are innocent. But then uh, ho suddenly opens uh, his office door, uh, making Moxie, due to being scared, shoot uh, and the arrow hits all the things in the room, even the aquarium with the heels that blitz, uh, who in the meantime uh, catches the arrow, recently both, uh, and uh, making it uh, fall, uh, starting a fire in his office due to the hills electricity. Blitz gets obviously angry at Moxie and after screaming to him, he asks also screaming if the grimoire is still intact and Luna says that she got it. In this scene uh, Blitz also reveals that he has a therapist. After that they go through the portal and Blitz is ready to shoot Martha but Moxie against the idea to ruin a family by killing her, makes him miss the shot and um, so the family notice them and they reveal themselves for what they really are, cannibals. That is also the human head behind them and the portraits and lamp made with human bones. Blitz starts screaming at Moxie for making him miss the shot but he stops when the family starts shooting at them Blitz and Millie, chased by Martha and Ralph, her husband, run away and Millie, while fighting um, with Ralph, gets knocked out uh, by him, while Moxie gets trapped and kidnapped by the kids uh, who show him a um, quite interesting room. Oh, 
the meantime, Blitz is running in a forest trying to escape from Martha that is shooting at him. He then hides behind the tree and when she goes off of sight, she receives a call from Stoas. Stoas, who is doing a bath in the meantime, notice the constellation that float behind him, for example, the one of Ursamajon or Ursaminor, and also the zodiac around his bathtub. And he says that since he needs the grimoire back to do his duties, Blitz will have to come to his place once a month on the full moon to return the book to him, followed by a night of passionate fornication. Blitz, that is trying to hide from Martha, agrees, a bit pissed off, and Stola starts to fantasize about their nights while Blitz gets captured by Martha. In all of this, also Stola is still talking thinking that Blitz is actually listening to him. Moxie, who is almost being stabbed by the little girl, sensing that Millie is in danger, escapes and runs towards the place where we see her and Blitz tied up and given fire by Martha. But the fire, as shown, doesn't hurt them, so Martha decides to shoot them. Also, Blitz says that that will be more effective, receiving a glare by Millie. But Moxie saves his boss and wife by shooting Martha from behind. He then frees Millie and Blitz and, while Ruff runs away, he says sorry to Blitz and Blitz seems to accept that. Apology accepted. But if you ever pull a stunt like this again, I will fuck you and your wife. Alrighty, job well done. Now let's get on. Hey, uh, yeah, give me a moment. I need to get something I left at the house. Okay, fine, but hurry up. Luna, we're ready to come home, dear. Before going back home, Moxie goes to the family house while Blitz calls Luna to open the portal. Um, in the house, Ralph uh, and the kids uh, are hiding. Uh, in a corner. Uh, in all of this, uh, while Moxie is going through uh, the house, uh, Stolas uh, is still talking, thinking that Blitz uh, is there, while in reality Blitz uh, has dropped his phone from a while. Moxie decides uh, to call the police uh, to get Ralph arrested instead of killing them. Then he returns to Blitz uh, and Millie, but before going through the portal, this uh, happens. and with the IMP and Mrs. Mayberry that are celebrating for the kill that Moxie did, while Moxie is uh, pretty traumatized by what just happened since it hasn't gone as he planned. Well guys, this is the end of the video, I hope you liked it, if so uh, let me know leaving a comment, a like and subscribe to my channel and we will see each other in another video.